Since the early 1920s, aviators and mariners have used the word mayday to signal distress and to call for aid. And on the sea, at least, when another captain hears that call, there's an obligation, a moral obligation, to lend aid. We are calling a mayday on this democracy. Across this country, Americans on the left and the right have come to the view that our government is broken, and more than 90% of us link that failure to the role of money in politics. While infrastructure collapses, while our schools fail, while we have a healthcare system that costs too much and does too little, while climate change remains totally unaddressed, while our tax system remains a gift to those who can afford to lobby for loopholes, politicians from both parties still spend endless time raising money from the tiniest fraction of the 1%. And as a recent study from Princeton confirms, the result of this fundraising culture is a government that is responsive to that tiny fraction of the 1%, while, quote, average American citizens have little or no independent influence, end quote. We want to fight back. Our democracy is held hostage by the funders of campaigns. We're going to pay the ransom and get it back. We want to build a super PAC big enough to end all super PACs and over the course of the next two elections, use that super PAC to win enough seats to pass fundamental reform. Or at least we're going to try. With May1.us, we launch an experiment to see whether we, the people, can kickstart a super PAC big enough to mobilize the people to demand reform. We're going to do this in stages, with a series of targets which, as we meet them, will build confidence that this experiment has enough support of Americans to make it real and to make it work. Our goal for this election cycle is to raise enough money to change the results in five House districts across the country. Through that work, we'll learn what works, and we'll put the rest of Congress on notice that in 2016, we'll be back. Now, to do this, we're launching this experiment. We'll first kickstart $1 million dollars, meaning we'll ask people to commit whatever they can afford, and only if we meet that goal will we collect their pledge. So if you pledge $100, we'll only collect that $100 if $1 million is pledged. Now, if we hit that first $1 million goal, then I'll get that amount matched, and we'll then kickstart a second target, this one with a $5 million goal. And if we hit that goal, then I'll get that matched as well, and we'll have enough money to make a difference in 2014 and to set us up for a much bigger campaign two years later. And here is my pledge. 100% of the money we kickstart here will be used to change Congress. No one will get any overhead or consultant salaries out of these funds. All of them will be used to convince Americans to help us win this democracy back. Now, we need your help to make this work. No one knows whether we can build such a movement from the citizens up. Certainly, I don't. But we need to try. We're not going to spend thousands to advertise what we're doing. We're going to count on you. We have pulled together this first site with the volunteer help of people who want to make America better. And throughout this campaign, we'll rely upon volunteers as much as we can. But when we raise the money we need to make an impact, we'll hire the best badass campaign shops we can find to make these contributions work. So yes, we want to spend big money to end the influence of big money. Ironic, I get it. But embrace the irony. Because with enough of us, we can easily build a super PAC bigger and more effective than the super PACs of the billionaires. So please help us. Pledge whatever you can now. We won't collect it unless we meet our goal. But more importantly, please spread this message. It will take thousands of Americans to even meet this first goal. But we will reach those thousands only if people like you take this first step to share what we're doing. If we're going to ransom back this democracy, you must answer this Mayday call. We've made promises to our children and promises to our parents, but we have a government that is more worried about promises to itself and its lobbyists to keep itself in power. We still have the power to change that. 
and we will if you help.